everybody praise the Lord. What a joy, excitement to be in Lusaka, Zambia again. This time, want to exalt, magnify the name of God, the God of miracles. And tonight, get ready there, a miracle is coming your way. Salvation tonight, healing tonight, and the power of the Lord upon your life tonight, in Jesus' name. Raise up your hand there, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come. We know you are here for us, and we are asking you touch every life, transform everyone, heal the sick tonight, perform wonders, signs, and miracles in every life tonight, in Jesus' name. Confirm every word of promise you give to your people tonight. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. We're looking at Matthew chapter 8. There's a story here. And I pray this story will become your story. I didn't hear your amen. We're looking at Matthew chapter 8 verse 5. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him, begging him, pleading with him, praying for a miracle. Look at verse 6. In verse 6, and saying, Lord, my servant lies at home, seek of palsy, grievously tormented. Verse 7. In verse 7, and Jesus says unto him, I will come and heal him hold on to that i will come and heal him i will come and save him i will come and deliver him i will come and set him free i need to tell you that jesus christ is the same yesterday today and forever and what you did at that time is going to do your life tonight Miracle of salvation for you tonight. Miracle of healing for you tonight. A miracle of power that will roll every problem of your life. Roll everything away tonight. In Jesus name. I'm talking to you on the miracle working power of a spoken word. He speaks the word and a miracle happens. He speaks the word and your life is transformed. He speaks the word and mountains move away from your life. Tonight you'll find the reality of that spoken word in your life in Jesus name. Three things I'm looking at tonight in this message. Number one, the spoken word for our healing. When he speaks the word, healing comes. When he speaks the word, all the pain, all the suffering, all the affliction in your life, everything instantaneously will vanish away. Number two, is the supernatural work in the heart he doesn't only touch the body heal the body he also saves the soul and he turns everything in our heart he turns everything around for the better and he works in a supernatural way the supernatural work in the heart number three the same wonder for the humble because christ is still the same his power still the same his authority still the same and the anointing that breaks the yoke still the same he does the same thing today that he did before the same wonder for the humble let's come back to number one there number one is the spoken word for our healing 
I read to you from verse 5. Jesus came to Capernaum and now he's come to Lusaka. It's by your side over there. And you may not see him, but he sees you. You may not physically touch him, but he is going to spiritually touch you. Your life will never remain the same again in Jesus' name. Tonight, tonight, the spoken word of the Lord will come to you there and it will solve your problem there. We're looking at, it said, he came unto him. There came a centurion, a man of authority, a man of dignity. You see, it's not only the young that come, the old too can come. Not only the women that come, the men also can come. And not only the people that do not have any problem they just come they want to worship the people that have problems problems on them problems in their home problems in their family they also come and as you are here tonight you will carry a miracle back home amen look at verse 6 in verse 6 it says and saying lord remember remember what he called him he called him lord i'll tell you about that later my servant lies at home sick of the palsy grievously tormented and in verse 7 verse 7 says and jesus says unto him i will come and heal him never rejects anyone never pushes away anyone he accepts everyone and tonight he accepts you tonight is going to touch your life and he says i will come and heal him he comes to you tonight and he says i came so that the lost will be saved the sinners will be converted and he came so that the sick will be healed and there you are tonight miracle time has come for you for me say it aloud for me it will come because he said i will come and heal him look at verse 8 in verse 8 the centurion answered and said lord i am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof but speak the word only speak the word only the centurion knew that you ought to know that the word of christ has power that's why he said only the word only the word speak the word only the word of christ as heavenly supernatural authority that's why the centurion said speak the word only and my servant shall be healed may it be fulfilled in your life tonight in jesus name then he said something that made him to say all i need is your word speak the word only what did he say look at verse 9 in verse 9 for i am a man under authority very important i am a man under authority having soldiers under me and i say to this man go and he goes and to another come and he cometh and to my servant do this and he does it you need to understand that the man said i the centurion i am a man under authority and because i am under authority i say to this go and he goes i say to the other come and he comes and i tell my servant do this and he does it centurion tell me why did you say that he said i said that to tell you i recognize my lord i recognize jesus 
and he is under the authority of the father the authority of the heavenly father the authority of the god of heaven and the centurion said i've learned a lesson a lesson unforgettable a lesson undeniable when somebody is under authority a higher authority on the basis of that authority he can say to this go and that fellow has to go and this Jesus, our Savior, Jesus, the one that always stayed under the authority of the Father, because of that, there's an in his life that he says to sickness go sickness has to go he says to infirmity go infirmity has to go he says to demons evil spirits go and the evil spirit has to go why because he is under authority and whatever along the way jesus brought apostles those apostles you know what they came under the authority way jesus brought apostles those apostles you know what they came under the authority of christ and every apostle stayed under authority and remember the principle i am under authority and because i stay under that authority i then say to this man go and he goeth and to that disease go and it goeth look at peter under authority and he said silver and gold have i none but what i have I give unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And the man was healed. Why? Peter was under the authority of the captain of our salvation. He was under the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, all he had to say is the word, Philip came to samaria like we're here today in your city like we're there today and we're ministering to you on your computer on your system online television or radio and in that same way philip went to samaria what do we know about philip he was under authority under the authority of the son of god under the authority of the lord jesus christ and when he got there he preached christ unto them he told them christ is savior he told them christ is lord he told them christ is our healer and deliverer he spoke only on jesus the authority over him and above him and were told all the sick there they were healed all the demon possessed there they were delivered you know why philip was under authority here comes paul and paul was in lystra and he looked at the people and remember paul had come under the authority of Christ. Lord, he called him Lord. What will you have me to do? And the Lord told him what to do. he was converted, consecrated, giving to the Lord a man under authority. And as he preached the gospel there, he saw a man that was lame. He didn't have to go and pull him up, push him down lift him no the word if you are under authority the centurion said i am a man under authority and because of that authority i can say go it will go and tonight the evangelist preacher comes and he is under authority and he's under the anointing of the Lord himself and when he says go your sickness tonight has to go 
your infirmity tonight has to go all your pain all your problems tonight they're going in jesus name how by the spoken word there's power in that spoken word there's authority in that spoken word all we need to do is to own him lord you have to say christ is my lord i've not in the past i didn't know him but now i know him as savior i know him as name and as you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is your Lord then you recognize that Jesus Christ even till now has that authority and when you hear the spoken word all your problems tonight they are solved my problems are solved say it aloud look at verse 10 in verse 10 it says when jesus had it he marveled and said unto them that followed verily surely certainly i say unto you i have not found so great faith no not in israel look at verse 13 in verse 13 it says jesus said unto the centurion go thy way tonight you are going back home saved tonight you are going back home healed tonight you are going back home with your miracle in jesus name jesus said go thy way as thou hast believed so be it done unto thee and his servant was healed in the self same hour this is your hour of salvation this is the hour of your healing and this is the hour of your deliverance tonight in jesus name how will it happen how does it happen look at psalm 107 verse 20. in psalm 107 verse 20 he said his word he sent his word that word is sent to you tonight i say that word is sent to you tonight he sent his word and heal them is the word that heals the word of power the word of authority the word of creation he sent that word and he healed them and delivered them from their destructions tonight your miracle has arrived look at matthew chapter 8 verse 16 we're looking at the power of the spoken word in matthew chapter 8 verse 16 when the evening was come like this evening they brought unto him many not a few many that were possessed with the with devils and he cast out the spirits look at this with his word he cast out the spirit with his word that's what he always applied the spoken word because the spoken word brings supernatural power into your life and then it says and healed all that were sick in verse 17 verse 17 says that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses tonight is your night in luke chapter 4 verse 32 and they were astonished at his doctrine for his word was with 
power. His word was with power. Anytime he speaks that word, the spoken word will bring power in your life. And the power will drive away every evil sin, every evil disease in your body and your family in Jesus' name. In verse 36, verse 36, and they were all amazed and spake among themselves, saying, What a watch is this? What a watch is this? For with authority and power, he commandeth the unclean spirits, and they come out. And they come out tonight, and they come out in your life, and they come out in your family, and they come out all disease, all infirmity, everything. Coming out tonight, out of your body, out of your life, in Jesus' name. That is the power, the authority of the spoken word for our healing. Look at point number two here. Number two, the supernatural work in the heart. The supernatural work in the heart we're coming to ezekiel chapter 18 and we're reading from verse 30 actually the second part of verse 30 it says the says the lord god repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions so iniquity shall not be your ruin iniquity oh, what's that sin what's that wrongdoing what's that something we do against our conscience against our knowledge of right and wrong against our knowledge of good and evil and every man has done that every woman has done that one time or the other in his life in her life god gives us a conscience he gives us a mind he gives us knowledge right wrong good evil bright dark and punishable or rewardable he gives us that understanding but we go against the knowledge we have we go against the upright life we ought to live and that is called iniquity it's called transgression it's called sin it's called wrong doing does that mean our doom is sealed forever no does that mean we're going to face judgment and it's irreversible no we can reverse that actually god reverses that in our lives how one word repent what does that mean recognize you've done wrong realize you can change if you want to and understand the lord has the power to turn your life in the right direction you will do it tonight i said he will do it tonight your life will go in the right direction tonight how just repent just turn around look at verse 31 in verse 31 cast away from you all your transgressions it says that handkerchief is dirty it has germs and the only thing you can do so that you will not catch the germs the poison in that handkerchief throw it away cast it away you see that wrong behavior got adam and eve out of the garden of eden and all they could have done is to cast that away because if they did not it would get them 
out of the garden of Eden. You know, all those people living at the time of Noah, there's something that came into their lives. We call it iniquity. We call it transgression. At that time, it was called corruption. And all they could have done not to perish in the flood is to cast away the corruption. All we should do today is to tell the Lord, I know iniquity will ruin my life. Transgression will destroy my life. Corruption will drown me in the judgment of God, which is eternal. And I don't want judgment i don't want condemnation i don't want any evil to happen to me eternally any solution yes the solution cast away cast away from you all your transgressions whereby ye have transgressed and make you a new heart and a new spirit for why will ye die o house of israel you will not die in sin. I will not die in sin. Say that aloud. The Lord will save you. The Lord will forgive you. The Lord will help you. He'll give you the grace to cast away all that iniquity so that you will not die in your transgression. Look at verse 32. In verse 32, for I have no pleasure in the death of him that dies. If anybody dies in sin and he dies forever, that means forever separated from God is because he rejected the mercy of God. He rejected the love of God. He rejected the forgiveness of God. God has no pleasure in having anyone die and die forever and be separated from the Lord forever. The pleasure he has is that your sins will be forgiven and that will give him pleasure tonight your forgiveness will give god pleasure tonight the mercy of god upon your life will give him pleasure the angels of god will rejoice because of you he is saved he is born again he is forgiven he has cast away all his transgression and jesus has become his savior and every day day by day you rely on the grace of god and the goodness of god and when you take the last step on the last day here on earth you'll find yourself in heaven I will see you in heaven what are you I will see you in heaven and you know just today all you do is say Lord I'm sorry and God says that's all I accept I receive you I forgive you you will not perish I will not perish. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Let me show you something now in Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 11. Ezekiel 36 verse 11 and i will multiply upon you man and beast i will i will i will and when god says i will that thing will happen remember jesus said i will come and heal him and the servant was healed and here now god the almighty is saying i will multiply upon you man and beast and they shall increase and bring fruit and i will settle you if you are settled he will settle you tonight if you are restless it will set you tonight because it says come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and it says i will give you rest i will give you peace i will give you contentment satisfaction in life 
tonight is your night it says i will say to you after your old estates i will do better unto you better life has come higher life has come a brighter life has come for everyone that will accept the offer of the lord tonight he will do it for you it says i will do better unto you than at your beginnings and ye shall know that i am the lord how will the how will he do that look at verse 25 in verse 25 then will i sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean tonight you will cleanse you up your mind will become clean your soul will become clean your memory will become clean your life is clean tonight by the touch of the lord upon your life in jesus name and then it says it shall be clean and from all your filthiness and from all your idols will i cleanse you tonight the blessing of god is coming from heaven and descending upon your life he will give you a new heart say will give me a new heart he will give you a new life say he will give me a new life tonight he will do it the supernatural work in the heart in our heart the lord is walking tonight look at number three here number three we're looking at the same wonder for the humble the same wonder for the humble i'm coming back to matthew chapter 8 and i'm reading here in verse 8 matthew chapter 8 and we're looking at verse 8 the centurion answered and said lord i am not worthy that's the humility of the man when we appear before the lord and we're not proud we're not pompous we're not bloated up we're humble we're meek we're lowly miracle of salvation of healing of deliverance will always come the man said lord remember he's a centurion remember this is a man that had a hundred soldiers under him and yet he bent the knee and yet he bent his heart before the lord and he called jesus lord he said now you are my lord that's why he had that same that wonder upon his life and tonight as you come and you call him lord and you say i will not be the captain of my soul i invite the lord the savior he will be my captain he will be my lord he will be my shepherd he will be my guide he will be the control and controller of my life that's all you do and that shows the humility the humble heart that says lord and then that says i am not worthy i am not worthy i am not worthy of salvation nobody can pay for salvation i am not worthy of the healing nobody can pay for the healing of the lord i'm not worthy of deliverance nobody is worthy but our worthiness is in christ he was perfect we are not he was sinless we are not he was spotless we are not what does perfection sinlessness spotlessness have to do with her salvation well all have sinned and because all have sinned all are guilty all are condemned and a guilty man a condemned man cannot purchase forgiveness for another guilty man he is guilty you're guilty he is condemned you are condemned and therefore you cannot provide salvation for 
anyone on earth no man on earth can purchase can provide salvation forgiveness freedom for anyone because all have seen there is only one person that can provide forgiveness and salvation that can provide eternal life for everyone on earth that person is the sinless one is the spotless one is the perfect one and that you only find in jesus christ and because it's perfect sinless he had no sin to confess had no sin to be forgiven because of that is qualified to be your savior is qualified and is appointed by the heavenly father to be your redeemer and that's the reason why the man said i am not worthy to save myself I am not worthy to save my servant. I am not worthy to save any of these soldiers under me. I'm not worthy to save anyone. My worthiness is found in Christ. Tonight, as you come with a heart of humility, as you come tonight and you rely and you depend on Christ and Christ alone to save you, salvation has come. I said salvation has come. He never says no to anyone. Whosoever comes to me. Whosoever comes to Christ. Whosoever will bend the knee and bend the heart unto Christ. Tonight forgiveness will come. Tonight salvation will come. Tonight healing will come. I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. I am not worthy. Everything is corrupt. You understand? When Adam sinned, when Eve sinned, you know what? The curse came on the whole earth and the curse came on the trees on the forest on everything every creator thing now when you take and then you build whatever you build there's no worthiness there everything on earth is under the curse and the man said i understand what i have I understand who I am. I understand everything I call my possession is under the curse. I'm not worthy. My roof is not worthy. My house is not worthy. My position is not worthy. There is nothing I have that wants your salvation. You only depended on the mercy of the Lord. And that's why we're here tonight. That you understand whatever you've done cannot buy salvation. Whatever possession you have cannot buy salvation. You're humble enough to realize I cannot save myself. That's why he said, but speak the word only speak the word only and when Christ speaks the word tonight when he says your sins are forgiven they are forgiven amen, amen. when he did say that look at that man he was so paralyzed by his sin he couldn't walk and four people brought him before Christ and he said son thy sin be forgiven thee he is the only one that has that authority because he is Lord he is Savior tonight you will hear his voice in your heart he will say your sins are forgiven your guilt is removed your condemnation is taken away from you and when he takes your condemnation and your guilt and he takes away your sin nobody can bring that sin back in your life and tonight he calls you behold behold the lamb of god that taketh away the sin of the world it will happen tonight and he said speak the word only and my servant shall 
be healed. My servant shall be healed. Somebody give me a good day. amen. Your eyes are your servants. Your eyes serve you. And when their eyes are dim or blind, they cannot serve you very well anymore. Now you are telling the Lord, speak the word only. And my eyes to serve me, and they are not serving me well, my servants, my eyes will be healed. Your hands are your servants. They have to carry and they have to help one way or the other and those hands now they are withered they are paralyzed those hands now they are dried up and those hands that are supposed to be your servants they cannot serve you well and you are telling the Lord speak the word only and my servant my hands will be healed your legs are your servants they carry you from here to there but if those legs are paralyzed what can you do you say legs get up he says I cannot get up I have problem either arthritis or it is a ache in the bone or when you walk for some time you cannot do that well but tonight the Lord will speak the word and your servants your legs will carry you you will rise up and walk in Jesus name your lungs are your servants how could you live without your lungs serving the air out in in out but now because of that problem you cannot breathe well and your lungs are not serving you well tonight healing is coming in your lungs in jesus name any part of your body all those parts of our body small big great and uh, notable or even invisible they're supposed to be serving us and those servants in the body when they're diseased when they're sick when they have pain they cannot serve us well anymore i came to tell you tonight all the parts of your body the strength will come in your body in your life tonight in jesus name but remember all the miracles started by him the centurion bended the knee bowing the heart becoming humble and saying jesus i take you as my lord i receive you as my lord and as you receive him tonight as your savior and your lord and he forgives all your sin and he takes away all the condemnation tonight healing will also come in jesus name to me to me it will come to you tonight in jesus name because whosoever shall call on the name of the lord will be saved tonight i'm sure you are ready for his salvation i'm sure you are ready for his forgiveness condemnation will go out of your heart guilt will come out of your heart call him lord own him lord accept him as lord he is your lord he is your savior he paid the price already the sinless died for the sinful and the perfect died for the imperfect and so all the sinful can now come all the imperfect people can now come and say we accept you as lord and savior and salvation will enter into your life right there give me a good amen, amen. it's bowed and eyes closed this forgiveness is now available for you and this freedom from guilt from condemnation is now available for you and your unworthiness is not anything to hinder you in fact it's because you're unworthy the worthy one now came to die for you it's bowed eyes closed you're receiving the lord jesus as your personal savior tonight and you're saying yes lord 
I know I'm a sinner. I know I am a transgressor. I know I've done what I shouldn't have done. And I come to you for forgiveness. I come to you for salvation. Wherever you are, raise up your hand. You want a salvation now? God bless you there. God bless you. God bless you. You want his forgiveness now? Raise up your hand. God bless you there. And you want the total freedom that he has brought unto you raise up that hand online wherever you are you're listening over the radio you're listening over the television anywhere you are at this moment freedom forgiveness salvation is coming to you now accept him as lord of your life Lord of your past, Lord of your present, and Lord of your future. And that salvation will come now. If you are raising up your hand because you want this forgiveness and this salvation, this redemption, you are raising up your hand, please stand up wherever you are and say, I'm standing up because I accept him as my Lord. I accept him as my savior. I accept him as the control, the controller of my life right now. As we are standing up, tell the Lord, tell the Lord, I forsake all those past evil things I have done. I will not do them anymore by your grace, only by your grace and by your strength and enablement. Here I come. I believe that you died for me and you have invited me to come. And you said, whosoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. I come for that salvation now. Keep on standing and praying with you right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for our friends, our brothers, our sisters, our children, all those who are accepting you as their Lord and Savior right now. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Take all the guilt away. Take all the condemnation away and come settle on the throne. Your grace will help them to live the way you desire we live in Jesus' name. Confirm your salvation. Confirm your forgiveness. Confirm the freedom right now. Write their names in the book of life in heaven. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our counselors will come to you there. They'll, you know, get some details of who you are. And so that we'll be able to continue helping you. We'll call on our overseer uh, to help us now during this time of counseling. After we finish, we'll go through this. I'll be coming back again. And it will heal you through and through in Jesus' name. Keep on standing, keep on standing. We thank the Lord. Uh, please don't go away yet. Our <clears throat> Father in the Lord is coming back again. And it's going to be a time of jubilation and miracles. So those of you who have given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, the counselors, as you are told, are there by your side. Give them the correct information. And uh, give them all the details that they will require from you. And the Lord is going to bless you. You are now a changed person, so you must give the correct information is to enable us help you uh, further in the Lord. As you give your life to the Lord, you are a new person. And you need to continue in the Lord. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, we are going to have a lunch period, lunch hour with Jesus, just in the uh, balcony over there and we are going to meet with you you need to be as early as possible 3 p.m we want to find you there and we are going to interact with you and it will be a time of wonderful fellowship with you and with the lord give the names 
counselors let's collect the names and the details as quickly as possible our father in the lord is coming back again to come and release the power of god upon everyone online here at the alpha location and you will not escape your miracle i told you that your challenge your problems have come to the last bus stop today and they are not anymore on your pilgrimage give the correct details get the names in the fullness of the gospel the manifestation will be evident You're going to escape your and amen counselors we are if you finish my right hand side towards the audience finish you let you just want to be able to see what you are done in your section those of you who gave your God who stood up attended to you please just wait so that they will know you and they quickly my left hand side finish you let us know Let's be fine. Let's write. If they know how to write and they have material to write with, give them to write. But let's write legibly. In capital letters, preferably. Don't forget your correct phone number. Put the name by which the people around you know you with. So we'll be able to reach out to you. And put the correct address, the correct contact, your phone number, your WhatsApp number. For those who have email addresses, put it. Counselors, are you done? If you are done, please signify so that we know you are true. Let's be thorough. Let's be fast at the same time.
and counsel us when you are finished. Don't leave the place. Remain with them. When our Father in the Lord prays now, you need to identify those who have received their miracles and bring them forward so that they will be able to give their testimony. Don't forget, 3 o'clock, 15 hours tomorrow, we'll be having lunch hour with Jesus just over there by my left-hand side. Those of you here at the Alpha location, you've given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Come for the lunch hour with Jesus Christ tomorrow. It's a time of fellowship and we are going to interact with you as we help you further. Counselors, we are waiting for you. If you finished, please signify. The supervisors, please let us know if you are done. Yes, counselors, we are waiting for you. Those of you here at the Alpha location, please remember all the new converts, those who have given their lives to the Lord tomorrow, 3 o'clock, we need to meet with you right over there by my left hand side and those who are watching here online you are in your home watching by the television please you can take down this number send us the details your details to enable us follow up on you it's 0955 Double seven eight nine six zero. It's also a WhatsApp number. You can send your details to zero nine five five double seven eight nine six zero. That's also WhatsApp. Then those of you who are online watching, there is a form you can fill online. If you open the link, it will enable you to complete the details. Send it across to us. So we'll be able to see how best to help you further. You would see it there, connect with Jesus. And then there is a link there. Click on it. It will open up a form to enable you complete. We'll be able to get the details to help you further. Connect with Jesus and you click on it. It would lead you to a form that you will complete to enable us help you further yes counselors we are done and let's get ready now for our miracles wherever you are it's time get ready as our father in the lord comes to release the power of god upon your life and you have a miracle. Praise the Lord. My miracle is here. My miracle is here. Speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. Any part of your body that's not functioning well. You have pain, you have sickness, you have impotence, whatever. Lay your hand where you have that challenge. 
and then raise up the other hand and as we pray in the name of jesus our lord with the mighty spoken word healing will come to you there my healing will come to me here father in jesus name we well, thank you for all your people. We well, thank you for the great expectation. expectation. I will thank you for the manifestation we're going to have. Even at this time now. I'm asking you, Lord, here in Lusaka. There, over the radio. There, over the television. There, online. Send forth your word of power on everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. Sickness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Amen. Blindness, deafness, darkness, come out in Jesus' name. Amen. Swelling, goiter, fibroid, elephantiasis, come out in Jesus' name. HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, cancer, ulcer, come out in Jesus' name. Blindness, paralysis, any problem, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, touch everyone now. Heal your people now. Let there be demonstration of power in everyone now. Manifest the healing manifest the miracle at this very time confirmation in every life thank you lord in jesus name we pray it is done check up yourself you see the miracle there